Hello, everybody. Welcome to Therapy on the Table. Yay. So Pandora Box is back. Agnes, will you do the honors of picking the next topic for today? I hope you guys like our set today because <laughs> now I have very, a lot of multi-colors hearts. <laughs> I mean, it's February, so Valentine's Day. What is our current obsession? Oh, okay. K drama. <laughs> K drama. For me, ah. Uh, uh, you, um, ha- you have been watching a lot of K drama recently. Recently, I I mean I still watch my Hong Kong drama. Yeah. So your current latest obsession is K drama. So tell us about what you have seen so the far. The latest one, uh, uh Abyss, 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 on Netflix. Okay. It's very interesting. Uh, what's, the, story. what's the story like about? It's about uh, this guy, he was accidentally killed in a celestial accident. <laughs> so um, apparently oops. some angels fly past and then knock him down and then, and then he died. And he died. Okay. So to make a, as a compensation to him, these uh, angels gave him a marble-like thing that's called the Abyss. Uh-huh. And but is he, he's dead already. They right? resurrected him. Oh, okay. So he came back to life. La. So what is interesting is those who have died and brought back to life, they will take the look of their soul. So apparently this guy who has died, he's, he's supposed to be a very ugly person. Uh-huh. But very kind. So okay. his soul is super handsome oh, okay. type. So, so, so change... He, so yeah. the next episode, after he got yeah. selected, then he... He took on the look of his soul and became a very handsome looking man. Okay. A very handsome and young looking man. Not like upgrade the celestial, <laughs> celestial uh, plastic surgery. Mm. So they said, if let's say you have a very ugly soul, it's because you, you, you have a bad heart. La, okay. Yeah. So there are people like that also in the in the show they did talk about that. Okay. So uh, the girl he's been in love with for over twenty years also died in the show and she was brought back. She was supposed to be a, a super beauty that kind in school, like uh, the what's that the Xiao Hua. Uh-huh. What's that? The prettiest girl in the school. The uh. prettiest, yeah, like the prettiest girl in the school. But after she's brought back, she became like a plain looking short girl. <laughs> so it, it became a turn situation for both of them. Yeah. That's sad. Uh, okay. But does he still like her? He still like her. Yeah. Even though she's not Yeah, despite her looks. Like. So what did he like about her? I think character. Okay. Yeah, because they kind of grew up together. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then before that, you were watching Hotel de Luna, right? Hotel de Luna, yeah. Also I, very interesting. I, what I, I'm obsessed about with K-drama is their storyline tends to be quite interesting as opposed to what we used to have in the, China, uh, the, the Hong Kong TV. drama. <laughs> I think they have very different versions. These are all more for the younger crowds, right? So it's always about relationship mm. and then ugly versus pretty, blah blah blah. Mm. Then there are also a versions of uh, versions of K drama where it's really like uh, the rich oh, family, cry and cry. <laughs> the cry, and then all the fighting, like all the why you still like fifty episode, you still don't know she's the dead person. <laughs> yeah, those are the those are the types that I don't watch. Those are the types yeah. of movies. So I watched Kota Dinuma. It got a little bit draggy till to the end. end. Yeah. So I started. I was I was telling my friend. Very hard to finish that because it's I about the time they should end after it. episode thirteen, right? Mm. Then after that, I I finished episode sixteen. Like, huh? Mm. Is that anything like that? What does it mean? Yeah, I think. Um, I think they have. You finish of, it, right? I finished it. I think a lot of the like, Korean TV shows, right? Like, their start is very strong. Then mm. down right, at the end, like, huh? Actually, it's the same for Hong Kong drama as well. It's like, I don't like they it's just like want to up close to a it. stage. They want to round up the story, then it gets a bit draggy. Yeah, then they mm-hmm. just want to nicely wrap it up, yeah. and that's all. Then I'm like, huh? Okay. So I thought what I like about Hotel de Luna is uh, she's very cute. Uh, the the main lead actress, mm-hmm. she's very cute. Then she every every scene different clothes, oh. different <laughs> accessories, mm-hmm. different manicure. <laughs> yeah, so. 
it's quite interesting lah. Yeah. And then some of the stories are very interesting as well. Some of the storylines, mm. but at the end of it, uh, not really already. Mm. Yeah. I think that's why in the past I like to watch uh, uh, Japanese drama, mm. and then a little bit of Taiwanese those. Oh, Siang Chi, the idol. Because it's very short. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Japanese drama is like eleven episodes. Okay. Very good. Very yeah, it's not draggy at all. By the time it got interesting, it's about to end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Once you get into it, yeah. then there is the yeah. <laughs> Okay. Mm. So my current obsession, I just like obsessed finish is the Witcher on Netflix. Mm. Henry Cavill, it's so mm. job dead gorgeous. Like <laughs> I haven't started. <laughs> you should. You should. So everybody keeps saying it's like yeah. uh got a uh, game, game of Thrones. Bell and Becca is trying to sell me on that show. <laughs> it's so it is so good. The storyline is so good. Mm. There's only eight episodes, so it, it's so good. So anyway, it's they, they ask they say this is the uh, game of the next Game of Thrones. Uh-huh. I've seen I've not seen Game of Thrones the full season. I've seen a couple of episodes. I couldn't finish. I couldn't continue continue, continue <laughs> the episode. So but this one cannot stop. Really cannot stop. I'm it, a Game of Game of Thrones virgin. <laughs> You should, you should try watching The Witcher. It's uh-huh. very it's very interesting, and there are certain storylines that it will. It, I mean, it does mimic life. Like for example, there was this the, one of the lead character. She was born a hunchback, and then she mm. has some deformity, but she has magical powers. Mm. So when she became a uh, a mag, which is like a witch, right? They will give you the opportunity. They use the magic and change how you look. Ah, okay. So you will see how she she struggles. Even though she looks so gorgeous after the transformation, or uh, she still look at herself in the mirror and thinks she is still that girl. Oh. So that's something interesting. I mean, there okay. are still like certain parts of the show that is very interesting, and they did it in a very. Uh, it's quite interesting. It's this, they have multiple timelines. If you have not. Seen the Witcher, do not listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can listen. I can listen. I will not share anything. I think by this time, this video goes out. Should most people should have already watched. Yeah. So I it's, it mm. came out on the twenty of December. I finished it on Monday or Tuesday. I think. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. So twenty. Yeah. So I finished in like a few days, but it's only at eight episodes. So it was very, very, very. Good. One thing about Netflix is is this lah, like, you know. Yeah, one Instead shot. Up. Waiting every night by the TV for your new episode, they drop it the whole season. Boom. Yeah. Go on, take your leave on Monday. <laughs> Don't go to work. Finish our series. I really, really want to. Okay, I was like, I was watching episode. Seven, I think halfway Then I was in bed Then I was like I just need one more episode But it was 12 already And don't worry about it Okay 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 I'll go back and watch I'll finish work And then come back and watch oh. so, so that is my current exception with uh, The Witcher But you finished the whole season yeah, right? yeah. So now so, you have to so wait, wait for Two years oh. 2021 <laughs> oh, Like no. why? Why? <laughs> exactly. like, why? It's why mm. So, I mean, Netflix is always my obsession, I guess. I mean, watching TV shows mm. is always one of our obsessions. So for me, it's Hong Kong drama. Mm. I think nail art. This is, this, this is the first year that I basically have manicured nails for the entire year. Is it? Yeah. Is I it? always have uh, manicured nails, but this year I started to do my own nails. Lah. So... This no, is my nail then, ob- obsession. I think it changes my the shape of my nail bed as well. Because my, to the better? Yeah, to the better. Because my nail bed used to be very, very mm. small, right? Mm. So because this year I've been doing a lot of nail uh, manicure, so mm. it get it gotten extended a little bit. Yeah, because they push, push it your cuticle yeah. backwards so, every time they... Yeah, so I guess I need to continue with my nail art. Yay. Nail manicure. <laughs> so that's one of the uh, yeah. other obsession I think we both love is skincare uh, and makeup. And recently, video making. <laughs> video video <laughs> making, podcasting. Podcasting. <laughs> podcasting. Trying to get more, trying to get more uh, Listen, listeners, uh, yeah, more viewers, and things like that. Mm. And hopefully, people don't get too bored listening to us <laughs> talking about all these things. Skincare, skincare. makeup. I think makeup kind of. 
died down a bit for us. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't as obsessed as before. Oh my god, I have don't know how many ColourPop palettes at home again. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is ColourPop is very affordable. Uh-huh. Their prices are affordable. So, I stop buying <coughs> and I start to give away a lot <laughs> to others. Yeah. Then I realise I don't really use them. Yeah. yeah. So, it's good to have, I guess. Yeah, but skincare we do use lah. So, uh, I cannot, mm. yeah, I need skincare. That, yeah. that is really a difference, I feel. Yes. Mm. When you take care of your skin and when you don't. Yeah, it really, it really a makes difference. a difference. Mm. What other obsession? Food? <laughs> Travel? I guess that's always the, the ongoing, not just the current for us. Yeah, so... <laughs> Food. We love trying different food. Mm. We like good food. We like tasty food. Yeah. Mm. I think sometimes we just travel because we want to eat different, different food. Different food. <laughs> we do enjoy traveling as well. Huh? I mean, yes. Uh. Okay, I don't enjoy the flight. Oh, yeah. The long haul flights are killers. Maybe in the future, when flights can, can be shortened. Can, or I can teleport. <sighs> Can I just tell Like Dor- Doraemon. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The door, right? The yeah, just walk and Yeah. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to pay for the en- entrance fee of the door. <laughs> I don't know. I think the entrance fee might be quite expensive. Mm. But <laughs> if not, it will be very crowded at that place. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the price of an etiquette law, but instead of taking the long haul flight, we then just walk through the door. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, per luggage is how mm, much also. Yeah. <laughs> so who who can be the inventor of this? <laughs> can we? Oh, yeah. maybe the other super hero power I want is teleportation. Uh, I can be somewhere else. Yay! <laughs> Superhero power. Mm, okay. Never thought of me having any power of any sort. <laughs> it's still time. You can think about it. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a good <laughs> thought tonight. <laughs> okay, what else are we currently obsessing about? I guess podcasting is something new to new, us. Yeah. And then it just came out of a conversation that we had at Starbucks. So Starbucks please sponsor us. And so far we are still doing it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is our uh, 14, no, 14, 14 episode. 14 episode. So we have been talking random 14 uh, topics for 14, for 14 topics. Yeah. yeah. I so, think it's, it's been fun, right, so far. Yes. <laughs> it's think. been fun. I still have, I have still, I have heard new stories that I have not heard of. Uh-huh. So that's fun. From me. Yeah, from her. <laughs> so I think it's fun and interesting yeah. just to listen that what, uh, what uh, whether our opinions are the same or a little bit different. Yeah. So, yeah. even though we have known each other for so long, there are still new things for us to chat about. Yeah. That is one very interesting part yeah. of life, I think. I mean, I hope everybody likes listening to us, mm. or whoever is listening, mm. still enjoys listening to us. Yeah. That you have listened to us 14 times. I mean, for, for 14 episodes. If you have been listening for 14 episodes, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We love you. <laughs> Let us know if you have been listening for 14, 14 episodes up till now. Yeah, we might, we might uh, think about, we might give you a like, small little yeah. day, like from maybe from one of our, uh, see whether we have any... Maybe big, we can have a giveaway a session. Giveaway for session. Our, Loyal listener. The person who has listened to us. Loyal audience. And this person will not include Agnes or myself. (laughs) No, who cannot? And not Kitty. So let us know if you have listened for 14 times already. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember to comment down below. And let us know. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe so that you can have the alarm whenever we post a new video. Turn on turn on what the notification bell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Ciao ciao. Bye. Bye.